Saturday at the Swiss indoors was to be an historic day as three former champions appeared in the semi-finals for the first time in tournament history. The top four seeds are also in the semis for the first time since records began, making for an exciting day in Basel. Centre court action got underway with reigning title holder Marin Cilic, along with 2012 and 13 winner Juan Martín del Potro. Cilic looked out of sorts, perhaps feeling the effects of his three-hour quarter-final the previous day. But nevertheless, he kept pace with his opponent. Gorgeous volley from Cilic. But three consecutive errors from the Croat gave Del Potro the chance to break again. Scintillating return. After confusion over a line call, the Argentine had to replay set point. No such problems for the fourth seed this time, as he closed out the 6-4 win. Well, it's fitting, I suppose, it should end with an unforced error, because that's been the story of the set from Marin Cilic. A set and a breakdown by now, the second seed retaliated with a crucial hold of his next service game. Couldn't have played that point much better, though. Needs much more of that, Cilic, if he's to get back into this contest. Del Potro held a slim lead, though, but this overhead winner from Cilic gave him the chance to break back and level the contest. Two very good overheads, the first one slightly tentative, the second one emphatic. But his error-strewn game was costing him, as the Argentine once again held a break advantage. Del Potro's hold to love here saw Cilic's title defence slipping further and further away. Well, that's his most comfortable service hold for quite some time. A break back point squandered for the Croat, but Del Potro made no such mistake with match point, sealing the contest with an ace, and with it, his place in the final. The former champion is back in the final in Basel and he gets there at the expense of the defending champion. And there he'd take on the winner of Roger Federer versus David Goffin, the Belgian attempting to beat the world number two for the first time in what would be their sixth meeting. Goffin was the only remaining player yet to drop a set in this tournament, but that looked in doubt when Federer had his second breakpoint opportunity. Federer read the cross court, got there in plenty of time, and he does finally produce a crack in the Belgians' defence. There was no sign of the subdued Federer we'd seen in Friday's quarterfinal, as the Swiss was his usual dominant self and making the world number 10 look very ordinary. This is reminiscent of his first round performance against Francis TFO, who was never allowed to get a foothold in the match. Goffin, hoping to advance to his fifth ATP final of the season, managed to deny Federer a love hold as he clawed his way back from 40 love down. But it wasn't enough to trouble the top seed, who was outclassing the Belgian in every area on the way to taking the opener by six games to one. Well, that's some set from Roger Federer. It's gone by in a blur, particularly if you're in David Goffin's corner. Just when he thought he had a chance to get his nose in front and win this game, Federer brought the Belgian back down to earth. That wasn't coming back. Perhaps galvanised by a hold on his last service game, Goffin managed to land some rare points on the Federer serve. Goffin will run down every single ball. But Federer was simply a class apart and followed with this volley to hold at 4-2. By now, just two games away from his 13th Basel final. A double break to the good, match point soon followed for the top seed. Goffin returning long, taking Federer a step closer to his eighth Swiss indoors title. Federer breaks again. The Fed Express has raced into another final in Basel. The dream of an eighth title very much alive. You have to feel for David Goffin because that was an irresistible performance from Federer. Outstanding tennis. 6-1, 6-2.